come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate off. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us to the This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Now before we get started, I want to go ahead and show you the new tarot deck that I just got that we're going to use. And I was waiting until we did the general reading for uh, before I introduced it. So we have here, I'm going to use the Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm going to show you that a little bit. That's the cards. Here's the back side. So we're gonna that's what we're gonna use for this reading. So I wanna introduce it. So now without further ado, let's start the reading. I hope you had a good weekend and everything went well for you. And that so far you're doing well this beginning of this week. Too many cards. We have a uh, ten of late that Latin on. Three of starships, which is three of cups. The moon. of Latinum, which is three of pentacles, again. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have one of Latinum, which is one of pentacles. So, let's start with the ten of Latinum, which is ten of pentacles. Your stability is starting to pick up now, and it's really stacking up. So that's what I'm getting from that with these cards. So it's really starting to come in alignment for you. And you're going to start seeing your pentacles add up and really come forth. And get, your finances are really going to start coming together. And that you're going to get the recognition that you deserve. Because I'm also getting that from this right here because it looks kind of like that wreath on the victory for victory. So you're going to have that come in for you as well. And then with this three of sh starships, which is three of cups, you're going to have many people celebrating you, your true supporters coming in and really uh, 
not only admiring you for as far as your work and all, but you're going to see with this here, I'm getting the brighter uh, light over the situation. So you see the bigger picture even, and that you might even be in the spotlight in some form, uh, in some way, not necessarily like like on social media or anything. It could be, but it don't have to be. Just where you're getting the recognition that you deserve for a job well done in your project, business, endeavor, whatever. Then we have the moon card. So there's something hidden at this moment, but I'm picking up good energy from it. So it's something that is a surprise that's waiting for you. And I'm picking up it's more on the uh, financial security. So things are really going to start coming in. And it might be, I'm even picking up, it might be sometime with like three or four days after the full moon that you might see something come to light to show itself for you. Then we have the three of Latinum, which is the three of pentacles. So Again, this you might be on some kind of platform, but you don't have to be. You're going to be collaborating with other people that's going to want to collaborate with you and really bring forth a project or endeavor that you've really been working on that wants to work with you because they're going to see they see your potential and want to bring what they have to to the table along with what you have to the table and really work together. And this is going to be something that's going to pay out and Especially with this page of, of, uh, I mean, ace, not page, ace of la uh, la latinum, which is a p ace of pentacles. So this is definitely going to be something that's going to be paying out on a physical uh, realm. So even if, let's say I'm picking up uh, your first pay on a project. So if you haven't gotten paid, for a project yet, this is definitely re uh, should be your reading for sure. If you've been waiting on a, your first payout, that is well on its way, especially when you have the Ten of uh, Latinum, which is Ten of Pentacles. Now I'm going to see, I'm going to go ahead and get some more cards. This is a general reading and see what else is needs to be said for this reading. We have justice so justice is about to be served for you so everything's really going to come together and you're going to be sitting in the captain's seat so to speak you know metaphorically speaking obviously but it's gonna feel as though you're in the captain's seat and you're really going to get the justice you deserve and it's gonna be balanced out so everything's really going to come in for you at this time, especially with justice being right underneath the the Ten of uh, Latinum, which is Ten of Pentacles. I keep pausing because I have to remind myself, considering the usual, the usual tarot deck. So you're really going to feel, I'm also getting, uh, to come back to what I'm trying to say here like first class type of energy so you're gonna get like it's gonna be something that grand and that you're really going to have that recognition that you deserve that like I was picking up right here and that many people are gonna come around want to fill your cup so to speak so I'm going to see what else I'm getting. And you're really going to take charge like Captain Picard here. So that's also what I'm picking up. So you're going to be that in that kind of authority is what I'm picking up. 
I mean, you're not going to be exactly, all, you know, it's metaphorically speaking, obviously, just <laughs> to make that clear. We'll just link out. Is that too many? Yeah, that's too many cards, so I can't take that anyway. Looks like two or three cards there. Then we have the um, two of cloaks, which is the two of wands. So with that being right underneath the three of cups, you're going to be looking out and seeing the people celebrate you is what I'm picking up. You're going to actually see it like before you right in front of you so things are really going to start working out for you for sure especially on a financial level Two of Backlit, which is Two of Swords. So you're, especially being right underneath the moon, you're feeling as though you're not sure about certain things too. But you're being called to keep faith in a situation. Just because you can't see it yet doesn't mean it's not there. So no to keep up your faith or to have faith. If you're not already having it, you need to have faith. But if you do, you need to, I'm picking up, have more faith that your the ships are even gonna come in is what I'm picking up from that. So you're gonna have your payout from a project you've been working on or endeavor, and that is going to pay off and it's coming well on its way. So you're just gonna have to have some patience, but it's going to come. I'm going to go ahead and get the last card if I can hold on to the cards. Come on now. Ugh. have the ten of cloaks which is a ten of wands so I'm picking up this is not your burden I'm picking up there's gonna be people surrounding that's been surrounding you that aren't your supporters that's not gonna be happy and burdened down that people are going to want to coll collaborate with you and that you're going to get what your justice in the situation and get what you your just reward, especially being right underneath the ten of uh, latinum, which is the ten of pentacles. But and they might even be trying to surround you is what I'm picking up. But especially with this moon here, along with this representing the cloaks, God and your spiritual team is cloaking it right now. Which I picked that up in, I believe it was one of the general readings. It was one of the recent, not so long readings about it being cloaked. Because I was picking up a uh, cloak of invisibility. It's going to be cloaked. It's being cloaked so that the enemy doesn't know where it's at. Because what's meant for you is going to be for you. It's just, it, that's why it's being shielded and hidden at this time. To keep the enemy away from it. Because it's meant for you. So I'm gonna see where I'm getting overall. I'm also picking up sneaky energy. So somebody, whether it's in the spiritual realm or in the physical or a combination, has been sneaking around, spying, 
I've been getting that a lot. There is a lot of spying going on in this, uh, in these readings. But somebody's watching and really trying to, like vultures, ready to grab up what's yours, but it's being hidden from the enemy so that they cannot have it. And then they're going to be burdened down because they couldn't stop it from coming through either. Because again, this this ten of cloaks is, is the ten of uh, wands. So I'm going to see if there's anything else I'm getting overall before moving on or see if I need any clarifiers in any way. I'm going to go ahead and get a clarifier for this uh, Ace of Latinum, which is the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to use the ver vice versa. Let's see what else to be said on all that. And a hiccup kind of comes over there in the middle of me trying to talk, so I was trying to like pace myself. Okay, that's in reverse. This is the uh, hermit in reverse. So I'm picking up it that you're not aware yet again. Of when this is, but guess what? Neither is your enemies, or whoever is not your supporter, a hater in, in the back, so to speak, even. And they don't have your best interests. And with this right here, this the moon here, and with this being right there on the forehead, listen to uh, not only to your intuition, but I'm picking up that so soon especially around the moon and full moon coming up that well it's not coming up soon yet when the new moon oh but during the full moon is what i'm picking up is when you're going to get an answer that you're that you have been waiting on whereas there's spiritual insight because i'm picking up the third eye with this here or just knowledge in some way so be ready for that so yes you do not have the answers right now but you don't have to have all of them all the answers at once just know that it's going to come into your awareness just not yet because also with these dogs here I'm picking up it's like dogs waiting to grab up with something that's yours and they're not meant to so it's being held and cloaked until the time is right so God or universe or spiritual team whatever all of the above even is trying to keep it safe and I'm also picking up like Easter eggs so it's like hiding the Easter eggs so to speak uh, and I'm also picked up Easter egg that it might be even during Easter time that you start seeing that you're coming close or not if you don't actually receive that first payout close to that and I'm also picking up April Fools in that so the April Fools joke is going to be on those that thought they could keep you from it because what is for you your blessings that's for you can't nobody keep you from or take from you it's just being in a safe keeping like a safe until it's time to be released for you when the coast is clear i'm also getting a vision with these dogs too like this hermit throwing the, some scraps out at the right time to distract them at the right time so that way, they're busy, metaphorically speaking, obviously, while you're receiving your just your just reward. So I'm going to see if there's anything overall before I move on to the Oracle. Just keep the faith is what I'm picking up with that. Even though you can't see anything right now, or it seems like it's far away, even though it's so close, but yet far away, keep the faith. Keep going. Keep doing it. Keep doing your, working on your endeavor, your project, or business, whatever it have you. Let's see if there's anything else. I'm also picking up that you might be, somebody might be thinking about building a house if they're not already, and they're keeping that hidden because they don't want their enemies to know that they're building this. And that this is something 
in your in, in your future what you're wanting to do possibly for somebody else too and that that's going to pay out too so if you've been waiting to have that money that come through to where you can it will it's just not yet not until the coast is clear and I'm also picking up if you've been waiting on a loan in order to get a house that too is going to happen for whoever resonates with that it's just there's a process that needs to happen so don't give up faith that that's gonna go through for you you just have to have to have patience but it's going to get approved is what I'm picking up especially with all these surrounding cards ow hit my elbow that's all I'm getting from the tarot so I'll move on to the Oracle now we're gonna start with the manifest soulmate Oracle A leap of faith into the unknown well, that just backs up what I was picking up about having faith so also take that leap of faith don't be afraid to it might you, having to take a leap into the unknown can be uh, stressful or anxiety bring anxiety but it's what's needed but also picking up what I was picking up keep the faith or have faith in the situation that that you've taken that plunge with this project or endeavor you've been working on or business, it's going to pan out. Or for those of you that resonated with the uh, getting a loan for a house to get a house that it's going to be okay. To have faith that that's going to go through. And we have you will meet your soulmate. Like when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. And I'm picking up with that being in reverse. That you still haven't got to that point yet for a reason. Maybe you're losing faith that love is even a possibility in your future is what I'm picking up. And for others of you, you've already possibly connected with this person. But it's not quite time for that to come together. Due to someone might need to be working on that, the anxiety or agitation that they might have, whether it's you or them. But to keep faith in a situation, but keep living your life. So don't just, you know, obviously stop living. Just keep doing what you do, regardless. Okay, now. Hottest love has the coldest end. So it might even be one of those push and pull type of connection that you've had. And that's another reason why you're kind of feeling like it's like a, taking a leap of faith in the unknown too. Because you don't know quite where things are going. I'm going to get a clarifier on that. Let's see. Or I speak of feel like I was going to say something, but I felt like I needed to clarify it first. See what's being said first. Get a little bit more insight on it. Okay, that's one to come in reverse again. So it's a Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm picking up, it has to do with... Okay, this why, why does this keep wanting to come through? Somebody still trying to mess with destiny. Somebody that has no business doing that. Trying to mess with yours or theirs or both destiny. But there's a thing. You can't stop what's meant to be. So if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. So it doesn't matter. So out the way you go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go with the next card. I'm just tired of that energy coming through, so I'm just like, whatever. I heard one fall. All you need is to believe in yourself. So regardless, just believe in yourself. Love yourself. Put your love into yourself. 
And what's meant to be, it's going to happen and going to be. It doesn't matter if somebody's trying to mess with destiny. They can't do that. What is truly destined is destined. You can't stop it. Whether it's to do with love or finances, both, what have you, it doesn't matter. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have someone, sometimes, my bad, sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So, you might have cried some form of tears in some way. You are the, pers are the person you're connected to. Take it however it resonates. It could even be a combination of the two. But remember, releasing those tears will only make you stronger. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm also picking up that you are this other person that you may be connected to, or soon will be if you're not. But I'm picking up you might already have in some way, in some way, somehow, that... You or them, or both, has been through a lot of pain. And it's only made you, made you stronger, or them stronger. Could be both of you, even, that's gone through a lot and made you both stronger. So everything is really going to come together the way it needs to. So don't be concerned about that. Now I'm going to move on to the Psychic Tarot Oracle. Hope. That being right underneath, take a leap of faith into the unknown. That's just saying, don't give up hope or faith for sure. Hold on to it. There is a brighter light coming in. Like what I was picking up with that light on the in the tarot itself. There's going to be light shed on a situation. Whether it's your love life, career, what have you. It could be a combination of the two. Again, what is destined for you will be for you. It's just being cloaked right now. Shut up, stomach. I swear, I, ate I swear it doesn't matter what time I eat. If I eat before, it's still going to do it. If I eat afterwards, it's still going to do it. It don't matter what it is. Oh, well, it just, my bad. I think it just wants to be contrary. Shut up. You'll get fed. Now, have material and spiritual prosperity so that's just picking up more you're definitely gonna have your material and your spiritual prosperity come in and you're gonna have be abundant and things are gonna work out for you and with this being the number six right here it's also the the number for the lovers so that's gonna come in for you too and then this is the number 17 which is a star card so this is also the star card so you're going to get, again, that recognition that you deserve in some way. Again, you don't have to necessarily be in the spotlight. You could be, as far as social media or what in some way. But it's just the way a lot of people can see you. And you're going to get that recognition you deserve. And get that payout as well. Get another card. Oh, well, that just wanted to flip. Well, I'm not taking it, obviously. But that wanted to flip. There's solitude, fertility, and spiritual union. And that's being that's the empress. And that card can, it's a, like the two of cups as well. So that's just more clarification. There might be more of a spiritual connection going on right now to someone. So whoever resonates with this reading. There might be some form of telepathic connection even. Somebody in this connection might be having trouble taking that leap of faith into the unknown because they don't know if it'll work out or not. And with the anxiety that I was picking up there and agitation. So if you or them can need to work through this or that it can come into some form of physical union. Then we have triumph, uh, triumphant success, which is the ace of uh, swords too. So... That just clarifies more that this is, everything's come to, to light and the truth being shown. So what was hidden beneath the surface is about to come to light. So if you had any form of confusion with that two of swords, that that two is going to come to light and you'll see clarity and truth in, in the situation. Whether it's with your career, a project, whatever, have you on that. 
and our love. financial and material changes. So you have financial and material changes coming. So again, that just clarifies what the tarot was showing that you're going to have positive changes in your financial sector, uh, sector. Then at the bottom of the deck, we have emotional loss. So again, what I was picking up here, you or them or both have had much pain in your life. And that's something else that has to be a change has to come. So some form of change, uh, transformation and a breakthrough in that for that to come into union, this past spiritual into the physical, especially with this being what I was picking up there. So they might are, they or you might already be starting to overcome that anxiety and that agitation reason why it's in reverse too. But there's still a little bit more work that needs to be had from your part or their part or a combination of the two. More time tonight could be the combination of the two. But you'll know how this applies. So everything's going to come together. I'm going to see what I'm getting overall before closing out the reading. And that's something too. I don't know if you could, that, uh, the, if the, that Mike's picking it up or not about a dog, the dog in the background barking. And when I was picking up from uh, that hermit in reverse with the dogs, that's just a, a synchronicity there showing that I mean, then I had Poppy in the song, Who Let the Dogs Out? So it, your spiritual team is waiting to let the dogs out distract them with some scraps metaphorically speaking not actual dogs obviously just want to make sure that i make that clear but what whoever whatever meaning spiritual or physical or both that's wanting to scarf up what is yours you have to wait to let the dogs out so to speak to let you have your blessings whether it's uh when it comes to your material or your love life or a combination of the two. So you gotta wait till the right timing. It's all about divine timing. And the dogs are really really barking back there. Again, I don't know if it, the camera's picking it up or not. So I'm picking up the really want at what's yours what I'm getting from that but what is meant for you is for you and again with me get that clarifier with that will of fortune in reverse they really want to try to make a uh, turn the, the destiny the wrong uh, deal with your mess with your destiny turning the wheel the, the opposite direction it is meant to, to turn so counterclockwise, but what is meant for you will be for you and no one or nothing can do anything about that. Also picking up with something with this fountain here. I'm picking up since there's two fountains here and especially with the number six here being the lovers. I'm picking up both of you are very much spiritual. I'm picking up, even if you're not able to practice a spirituality in some form every single day, you both have this spiritual side and you're able to come together on a spiritual level because of it. And much change is definitely coming. I'm picking up not just on a financial level, especially when you have material and spiritual prosperity here. So spiritual and material changes are amongst you and it's about to occur if it hasn't already been transforming it's going to be and if it already is it's going to continue to do so i'm going to see what i'm getting overall before i close out the reading okay that's all i'm getting from the reading i hope this brought you some form of clarity and brought you some uh helped you in some way 
and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.